it's got to be as frustrating a night as it would have been quite, uh, quite a while. I don't think I needed to do anything. I think Darius and Billy took care of that. But um, that was a tough one tonight. That's a, that's a good lacrosse team over there. Um, a lot of their guys have been outcasted a little bit from teams and stuff. They got a lot of Americans. And you know what? They're, they're showing that they're a team to be reckoned with. Uh, so, you know what? We got a good win last night. But then we uh, have a little bit of a downer tonight. Uh, we got all the calls in the first half, and then uh, they got all the calls in the second half. And you know what? We, we couldn't uh, find a way to get it done tonight. How big is it for you personally to kind of keep uh, producing in bunches like that? <laughs> I, I'm so inconsistent right now. It's not even funny. So um, it's not about me. It's it's about getting wins and. Um, yeah, Cause played pretty good tonight. Our, our defense had a great first half. Uh, our offense is good in bunches, but we, you know, it, sometimes we get into lulls where we're not moving it what good enough. And um, I mean, what was the final 11-10? So we put up 10. It's okay, but we're a 12 or 13 goal team, and when we get 14 or 15, we don't lose very often. So. You know, I, we're, we're striving to get to that 14-15 mark. Uh, B. Miller played really, really well tonight, especially in the second half. When the offense does slow down, it seems like it's the off-ball movement that isn't isn't uh, as active. Was there fatigue on the team tonight? No, I don't think so. I, it's nothing to do with fatigue. It's, it's to do with uh, execution. Execution is a good word for that. Um, and once we kind of get into a little bit of a funk, we start doing one-on-ones and stuff. And I mean, even myself, I, I, I kind of get get complacent. I start trying to go one-on-one, and for some reason, my, I'm not very good one-on-one this year. I, I'm more of an off-ball guy right now. So, um, I mean, just as a team, we, we got to continue to get better. I mean, five and four was not a bad record right now, so we're still above 500. So we're sitting in a good spot. Really, there's no time to hang our heads and pout. We gotta, you know, we, we gotta get right back at her on Tuesday and get practicing. And we, we got a pretty good Colorado team coming in here next week, and you know we play a lot of West teams coming up here. So we, we gotta study some tape and see what they're all about and stuff, and you know get her fired up for the end of the season. I mean, we only have four losses right now, and that's not that bad. I mean, you know, we run off. You know, a good winning streak here, and you know we, we just you know you you counted by your losses, so we just got to try not to lose anymore. Before the season, you talked about how last year the team wasn't making the changes, wasn't talking enough at halftime. Is that different this year? Because you guys have come out kind of flat the last two third quarters. Yeah, it, it is. It is different, uh, but. Tonight, well, I, we just we just, were just kind of flat. I, we were flat last night too, so um, we definitely have to make an adjustment there. And that's you know what, maybe maybe you're the man right there. Maybe you can get in there and give us a hand there <laughs> on that one. But good point, you know. We have we've been coming out flat at the start of the third quarter, and it's you know I think Toronto put up six or seven against us last night in the third, and then we got spanked in the third quarter tonight. So uh, <laughs> it's something we got to make an adjustment on, boys. Johnny Meridian said he applied more pressure, especially in the fourth quarter, figuring you guys having played last night might be just that little split second slower because of, of fatigue or whatever and forced you, forced a lot of turnovers or whatever. Is that something you noticed at all? Or Yeah, I mean, okay? I mean, they did a pretty good job there. Um, they're, they're, a, they're an athletic bunch, so, you know, whenever they can come after us a little bit, essentially it spreads them out a little bit and it should open up more space for us, but um, they made a good adjustment there, and that's, I mean, that's that's what good teams do, so they uh, they figured out a way to get it done tonight, and as mad as we are, we can't hang our heads and, like I said, pout and be babies about it. we got to get better and continue to strive for a championship. It's, we're 5-4, and four and, you know, the season's not over yet. The season's long from being done. we got a lot of work to do, and we're going to just continue to get better. we, we you know, we got to cut down on our turnovers and uh, try to try to win more of them games than we lose. <laughs> just hate to see the opportunity that this week presented. You know, you yeah. said sweep would have been nice, and you're so close to it, you can taste it. Two seconds left. Uh, Jordan Hall made a good shot right there. Uh, but it's it's just it's it's frustrating to lose those ones. But I I don't know. 
That's why these interviews stink <laughs> after losses. They're way more fun after a win. Cause, but I mean, I'm proud of the guys. We, you know what? We had a we had a really good, strong weekend, and two seconds away from being two and all on the weekend and first in the division. And you know what? Now we're what second or third, right in the mix, right there. So. You know, I mean, there's teams that have five, six losses right now, so, you know, it, it's all jockeying for position and, you know, setting ourselves up to be successful in the playoffs, and I, I think we'll be just fine.